It's season four of the Wendy Williams Show. Today, pop superstar Lance Bass making a serious career move. Plus, fashion's hottest fall accessories. And Chris Brown and Rihanna did what? The latest on their shocking tattoos. Now, here's Wendy. We've got the best show ever, okay? We're gonna get to the bottom of a whole bunch of stuff, including some juicy stories. Like, is Kristen Stewart back with Rob Pattinson? I know, really? And we're also gonna get to the bottom of Chris Brown's shocking new tattoo. I promise you. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topic. Are you trying to trap me? You know I can't. I'm wearing sleeveless. I can't. <laughs> anyway. How you doing? So yesterday, if you didn't see the show, you missed a good one. The legendary fashion designer Betsy Johnson was here, and she's 70, and she's fabulous, and she did a cartwheel and landed in a full split. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> Such an inspiration to us all. But anyway, so Betsy uh, invited me to her fashion show. You know, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week is still going on here in New York, and Betsy's show was last night. And if you've ever been to a fashion show, like for Fashion Week or, or any of the other like official fashion shows, you know that they only last for you know 10 or 12, at the most, like 15 minutes, and then that's it. You get all prepared, you watch the fashions, and then you go home. F Betsy was uh, celebrating a combination of things, including her birthday, and uh, the fashion show was like a total of three hours. Oh, it was great. They had champagne out of those little champagne, you know, you drank right from the bottle, but not swigging. <laughs> you know, with a straw, so, you know, everybody's drinking and burping all night, and <laughs> there were some really great people there, all of New York's beautiful people, including the queen of Fashion Week, Week Fern Malice. And here she is, we took a picture together, it was nice seeing Fern. Uh, pardon my expression, the lighting was bad. <laughs> Uh, Robert Verdi was there. You know him as the fashion uh, stylist that wears the sunglasses, the bald man with the glasses up here. And you know Jill Zarin from New York Housewives. She was there. Her husband had just given her a Birkin bag and she was so nervous that she was going to lose it. <laughs> and then George Katsiopoulos was there from Fashion Police and he was there with the Fashion Police cameras and so many other people. I just had, I had a really great time. Betsy Johnson, thank you so much and we will always love you here at the show. Yeah. And then I got home and I was watching TV. Did you guys watch The New Normal last night? Yeah. I know, well, listen, as sitcoms go, I used to think it was great if you fed me the part where I'm supposed to laugh, but I actually like sitcoms with no laugh track. Do you know what I'm saying? Did you notice that about The New Normal? And many sitcoms on TV now, no laugh track, so I'll laugh when I wanna laugh. <laughs> and I laughed. It's on NBC and it's getting great reviews and it's about this gay couple and they have a surrogate having their baby and the surrogate has a bigoted grandmother played by the legendary Ellen Barkin. And it's, I mean, it just seems like um, the, the bigotry from Ellen Barkin in this show is equal. It's not just the gay, it's, it's everybody, I mean, bigot. But <laughs> Nene Leakes from the Atlanta Housewives is now acting and Nene, Nene, I know. Our girl, Nene, friend to the show, plays uh, the personal assistant to one of the gays on the show, and she's getting high praise for her acting, but she says, uh, she said recently that she doesn't want to abandon her acting career, that she's, but, you know, if, if she did come back to reality TV in another type of show, that she'd want to do, like, the Real Housewives, the all-star edition, <laughs> and she cited who she'd want to be on it with. Okay, it would be, be it would be her, and then Bethany Frankel from New York, <laughs> and then, look, and then, 
Jill Zarin from New York Housewives, Gretchen from Orange County, and Teresa Judy from over in New Jersey. But to me, that's so. For a second, I thought I saw Randy Jackson sitting in our audience. <laughs> Tell me if you can spot the man in the center with the bright blue jacket. <laughs> How you doing, Randy? <laughs> I like all the color in your jacket. I guess you knew where you were coming, right? <laughs> Most colorful show around. How you doing? Mm -hmm. My co-host, a mess. Good. All right, but you know, I was thinking that that might be too many, too many people on on one show. Really, we could just focus on Nene and Teresa. I think they'd be perfect together, right? Be perfect. Anyway, so that's the new normal. It's getting a lot of rave reviews. Matt Roush is coming here from uh, TV Guide magazine later on in the week. When's he, when's he coming? He's gonna be here tomorrow? All right, so he's gonna talk about that. I also like that new show, The Mindy Project. I got a little clip of that. I, I like that. And I'm also gonna invest my time in 666. That's Vanessa Williams' new show. Uh, and also, I wanna invest my time in Nashville. No, I know Nashville, David. <laughs> I was getting to it. Nashville with Hayden Penetier. Anyway, we'll talk to Matt tomorrow about new TV. Anyway, it's now time, you guys, for hookups and breakups. <laughs> Okay, first we'll talk about a hookup. It's Eva Longoria, a new man in her life. You might have heard, maybe you didn't. According to reports, it's New York Jets quarterback, Mark Sanchez. Whoa. Do you like that? He's juicy, he's cute. She's a little tiny number, so she looks like a pocket watch next to everybody. Do you know what I mean? Um, they were recently spotted together all over New Jersey, and they don't live in the part of New Jersey that uh, is, is like near New York. Uh, he, he, not they. Uh, Mark lives like in central Jersey where it's very quiet. So it's, ve you know, to see a celebrity is like, right? It's a whirlwind romance, people are saying, but they've had romantic dinners, uh, nights on Broadway. Uh, they've been spotted at the grocery store near his home. Uh, they, they've spent the weekend in the Caribbean and allegedly she wears a blonde wig to avoid being spotted. <laughs> but for people who don't wear wigs all the time, they're usually the blonde wigs that are made out of the synthetic and they're really shiny and, it look, and, and they look like, who's that lady wearing a fake blonde <laughs> wig? So I guess for the picture that we just saw, she decided to forgo the wig and just let it go. But he's 25 and she's 37. Ooh. Yeah, it's juicy, but not worth perhaps the full investment. I don't know, we'll have to see. I mean, Eva and Mark are both Mexican-Americans, uh, but I was at, as I told you uh, the other day, I was at the Jets opener on Sunday, Jets won. Um, and, and, that's Santonio that me and my, my son are standing with, but what the arrow is pointing to, do you see those binoculars? Okay, you know I'm always on the hot topics. <laughs> so I get to the game, I forget my binoculars, but I, we were in the owner's box, um, uh, Woody Johnson and his wife Suzanne, so I asked Mr. Johnson, I said, you know, do you by any chance have any extra binoculars around here, or can you just tell me, is Eva Longoria here with, uh, with uh, <laughs> oh yes! I told, and he got it. He gets the show, he helped me out. Every, you know, his wife, he's like, no, I haven't seen her. I said, well, get me the binoculars and I'll look. <laughs> P.S. Swarovski binoculars, I've never seen them, they, they're fancy. Uh, but no crystals, just the Swarovski tag. Anyway, so I'm looking up in the box and I see nothing and I'm looking at the game, but I see nothing, I see nothing. Finally, we get called down to the field because it was Curtis Martin day and they retired his number. So that's why you see us on the field. That was at halftime. So when we go down to the field, I say to my son, I say, all right, you hold the binoculars for a moment. You know what uh, Sanchez looks like. You take a look to see if he's there while I, you know, pose with San Antonio and, you know, do some other things. <laughs> the whole game, we saw nothing. And all I'm saying is if you got a new man in your life and if he's a star football player with a quarterback and if it's opening day, you're gonna make it your business to be there. I'm just thinking. So that's why I'm thinking that this is just a nice grown people fling not something serious. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll leave you to decide that. So anyway, uh, on to, and uh, yeah, we'll be watching. Okay, so on to our next uh, um, hookup breakup. We're talking breakup this time. Dancing with the Stars, Judge Carrie Ann Inaba. Now I'm not on the show anymore, so I'm back to liking her. 
you have to understand, she was part of the reason that I got booted off second week. <laughs> I thought I had an inside track because she had been on our show a couple of times, but no, she was stone-faced and judging harshly. So I was hating for a moment there, but I'm over it and now I'm back and I'm sorry to hear about your broken engagement. Her boyfriend, Jesse Sloan, there he is, the ex-fiance, proposed to her on Regis and Kelly back in March of 2011. Do you remember? This is back when Regis was like, oh, it was a grand gesture. Look, <laughs> I'll set the scene. So Regis sitting there and Carrie Ann's filling in for Kelly. And then all of a sudden, Jesse surprises Carrie Ann by walking on the stage, the lights dim, violinists appear from nowhere. He drops to one knee and proposes. She cries. Regis is holding back the tears. They met. <laughs> Look, they met on uh, one of those match services online because she had come to eHarmony, on eHarmony. Um, look, and she talked, she talked, I told you she's friend to the show. She come to our show and told us all about it and showed the ring and eHarmony and I go for dating online. Like, I don't look at that as any low class thing. Yes, if, if you know, if you, if you, sidebar. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are looking to marry and not to hook up, if you're looking for a real relationship, you've got to cast your rod in a lot of different fishing holes before you come up with something good. So use these sites. But what I'm saying is that he's 40 and she's 44, perfectly age appropriate. She had waited all of her life and apparently so had she. They got engaged and now it's off. No word on what has happened. Things ended quietly. Uh, she, uh, but see, there are a couple of things going on here that I have to talk about. First of all, the grand gestures. This is just me personally. I don't like grand gestures. Like, do not uh, become engaged to me on my birthday, Valentine's Day, in front of my, on this stage. Don't walk out here if I was a single talk show host and ask me to marry you. Even with me and my husband, we've been married for 14 years. And you know, anybody who's married knows marriage isn't easy. We're weird and we, we agree on being weird. When our anniversary comes around on November 30th, we don't do uh, anything. We tiptoe, 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 like, <laughs> You know, no grand gestures, because you never know. These people like Heidi Klum and, people, and Seal getting married every year and the grand gestures. Look at you now, Carrie Ann and Abba. Now, this is all I'm gonna say. I love you and I know that you are heartbroken for that. But for all of you on Dancing with the Stars all-star show that's about to come up in a few weeks. Every time, no, 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 look, 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 look. Every time Carrie Ann raises a paddle lower than a 10, you look at her and say, <laughs> read my mind. <laughs> That's why you ain't got no man. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. Uh, all right, now let's talk about uh, Leanne Rhymes. Now, she's not the first celebrity to go to rehab, nor will she be the last, but she might be the first to go to rehab for cyberbullying. Oh, and I am so Team Leanne on this. The wait a minute, because I thought it was drugs and alcohol. The way you know celebrity, you know cyberbullying. Who goes to rehab for that? A grown woman. The day after her 30th birthday, she entered a treatment facility. Her reps say that it was for anxiety and stress uh, to learn coping mechanisms. Who goes to rehab for that? <laughs> right? I was all judgmental. I know you were too. That's why we get along. <laughs> but I'm gonna break it down. Leanne is very active in social media. She's always on the Twitter and always on the Facebook. She reads all the comments about her. And you know, if you read enough stuff, you will, you, you will just feel horrible about yourself, but you can't read everything. People attack her and she fights back. She even sued two of her cyber bullies. I know, way too involved. Most of the criticism is about, well, what do you think? the affair that she had with Eddie Cibrian while they were filming the Lifetime movie Northern Lights, which broke up both of their marriages. He was married to Brandy Glanville from the Beverly Hills Housewife, a couple of kids. He, she, he had a happy home, or at least it would seem. And then she didn't have any children yet, but she also was married. And uh, then Eddie and Leanne divorced their re respective spouses, and they did what people don't normally do when you have an affair. They actually married one another and they've been married since 2011. 
Now the stats show that when you have an affair, only 10% of people actually marry one another because you probably spend the whole rest of the marriage wondering if he did it to me, he can do it to somebody. <laughs> you know, you know, if he did it to her, he'd do it to me. Exactly. So that's probably part of the rehab too. Coping mechanisms, coping is, <laughs> gosh, if I stole him, who's gonna steal him from me? But here's the thing. The people on Twitter and Facebook, social media, are not giving Leanne Rimes a break. They are calling her all kinds of home records and things like that. And remember though, you guys, before you say that's right, cause I'm the wife and I'm like, that's right. But have some compassion for once in your life. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, because remember, Leanne's been through a lot in her life. She was famous by the age of 13. She sold over 37 million records worldwide. Reportedly, she's worth $38 million. She sued her own father for stealing from her. She got emancipated from her parents. You know, you know how that must be to like disown your parents? Then they made up later on in life, but it's still never the same. Like once I disown you, I'm always looking at you with the crooked eye. <laughs> and so that's a lot of pressure for this girl, Leanne. So she's 30 years old now, she's in rehab and hopefully, are you a little bit more compassionate now? Yeah. Who doesn't care? She's all, okay, good, good, thank you. And my suggestion to Leanne is that time is a forgiving tool and sometimes we don't give enough time for forgiveness. Uh, what I suggest you do, uh-huh, you need to gain a little weight. <laughs> I know you want children of your own, I've read, I know you're a country girl, I know you do. Gain a little weight, have a, a, you know, a baby or so and stay off social media, which brings me to my hot question of the day. Do you think that, um, oh, you like the hot question. <laughs> That's new for the season, thanks lady. <laughs> hot question of the day. Um, do you think that Leanne Rimes needs to delete her Twitter account? Yes. Go to wendyshow.com, we, we do wanna hear from you or you can go to Facebook, you can go to my Facebook page and, and tell it like it is. You don't have to just say yes about the Twitter. You can pontificate a couple of sentences as to, you know, that you'll never forgive her because she's a home wrecker, or that you know what, time is a forgiving tool. Listen, we asked Brandy Glanville, because you know she's a friend to the show on Twitter. We, excuse me, we tweeted her and asked her if she thinks that Leanne should delete her account. And Brandy tweeted us back in one word, and it's clearly, period. <laughs> Good luck, Leanne. Okay. There's a story that I've been resisting talking about, and, and, but I, I read my own Facebook page, not too much. I don't wanna get my feelings hurt, but. <laughs> Cause you're mean, sometimes. But look, I, I read the comments on my Facebook and my Twitter, and I know that you guys want me to talk about Chad Ochocinco and Evelyn. Yes. I don't wanna talk about them. I don't wanna talk about them because I think that their relationship is stupid and I think it was phony from the gate and I made no secret about that last season. But because it's popular demand and I am here to serve you, I'll talk. <laughs> but pardon my attitude and my lack of interest. Okay, so he's the former NFL star, Chad Ochocinco. There he is, and he desperately wants to get, uh, stay married to his estranged wife, uh, Evelyn Lozado. She's from the Basketball Housewives of uh, Miami. Um, anyway, according to TMZ, Chad has refused to sign the divorce papers. They were only married for five weeks. They got married July 4th. They tweeted it all over the Twitterverse. Evelyn filed for divorce after the five weeks because he headbutted her during an argument. <sighs> Number one, what kind of man headbutts? I will go on, but uh, I need to be restrained while I tell this story, because I'm, I'm about to attack somebody. Uh, Chad has apologized to Evelyn, and to prove his love to her, he got this stupid tattoo of her face on his stupid leg. P.S., it looks just like her. The tattoo artist is brilliant. However, he got this tattoo. Who gets a tattoo of their estranged wife? Uh, you know, uh, is this so that she won't file charges to put you in jail for a year? Because guess what? Uh, we checked and once you call the cops and 911 and get neighbors involved, any one of those uh, entities can file the charges even if Evelyn doesn't want to. Also, Evelyn, we've watched you run across tables and have your own temper flare up <laughs> since we've known you. And to me, to me, 
It appears that both of you have some sort of issue and you need to stay away from one another. Evelyn, I would not get back together with this joker. This tattoo is a joke. And can we move on from this? Yeah. There. Let's talk about another tattoo. This is Chris Brown. Chris Brown got this shocking tattoo on his neck. Everybody was saying it looked like Rihanna. I don't think it looks like Rihanna. My, even, even some people on my staff think it looks like Rihanna. I'm like, are you guys out of your mind? Chris Brown has a whole lot of this. He needs a whole lot of therapy still, even though we are loving his music, right? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. We, but, but he needs a whole lot of this to help out with the cuckoo. And I just think that this is some random angry woman. And if you look at it closely, it does look like the legendary singer, one of my faves in my iPod, Grace Jones. <laughs> However, uh, let's go straight to the source. We're gonna dead this right now. Chris Brown's tattoo artist, Peter, is joining us live from Los Angeles on the phone. Peter? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Peter? I'm doing good, man, I'm doing good. Thank you so much, keep Peter. It, keep it out here in California. Thank you. And California. Thank you for waking up early with us. Okay, so Peter, uh, Chris has the new tattoo. Is this or is this not Rihanna? It is absolutely not Rihanna. Oh, wait, 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 wait don't, you know. shh, don't clap, you guys, okay. I can't hear. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So if it's not Rihanna, who is this picture of? It's just, it's just a, an iconic beauty, that's all. Like, it's just something that, you know, we kind of came up off of a, a reference picture that he brought me that was like a Mac. Um, a Mac poster and that's the or picture something that he, he had on Peter. his phone. Okay, right, right. perfect. So, and now who was with Chris at the time of getting this tattoo? Um, at the time of this tattoo, it was just his, his girlfriend. So his girlfriend was with us. So. Okay, so you know, the Kirchner or whatever. Um, and, and, and finally, yeah. Peter, uh, did he seem like he was in his right mind or was he a little to the left, maybe a glass of wine or two? <laughs> no way, man, he was uh, perfectly in, in sane mind. He had no, yeah. You know, Case. No drugs, no alcohol around. We were just, we were just tattooing, and that was it. Like, I, yeah, I got, I got paid to do a job, and, and I came out there and we did it as professional as possible. Thank you, Peter. You've settled a big mystery. We're gonna keep you in our Rolodex. Take care, and you guys keep clapping. We've got a terrific show. Former Instinct star Lance Bass is here. Can't wait to chat with him. Plus, Bryce Gruber is here from LuxurySpot.com to show us the hottest must-have accessories for fall. But up next, stick around because Diane Madison is here from HollyScoop.com, and she's joining us with the inside scoop on our Kristen Stewart and Rob Pattinson back together secretly. You'd be shocked. Keep it here. Inside Scoop and here with the juicy celebrity news from hollyscoop.com. Please welcome Diana Madison. <laughs> Diana! Okay, my friend, let's get right to it. Uh, Kristen Stewart and Rob Pattinson, are they or are they not back together? Well, a source that's close to Rob Pattinson tells Holly Scoop that they have opened the lines of communication and it's only a matter of time that they're gonna get back together. But hear this, okay. his camp is not happy about this because they're scared that there's gonna be this, um, you know, twilight backlash that if they get back together, kind of like, you know, when Chris Brown or Rihanna, there were rumors that they're gonna- No, 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 that's different. He did not uh, assault her. No. 100%, Allegedly. But, but the fans are really like psyched up about this. They don't want to see them get back together. They're afraid that if they get back together, there's gonna be this big backlash for the movie and for the stars. So um, they're actually kind of keeping it on the down low. How do you keep it on the down low? Is she wearing a blonde wig? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> The stars aren't keeping on a down low because Chris Stewart has been spotted wearing his hat at the Toronto Film Festival. He, she was spotted wearing his T-shirt, you know, going to the Toronto Film Festival. And he's been spotted looking like he's in good spirits lately. And I actually did hear that if the scandal didn't happen, he was going to propose to her in the next six months. Oh, wait, wait, they're too young for all of that. But, uh, okay, well, we'll follow that story for you. That's a good one. All right, yeah. our next story. I've been dying to talk to you about this. I'm so glad. Yeah. Eddie Murphy has a new project. Talk. Well, I mean, go ahead. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> well, you know, there was talks about creating Beverly Hills Cop Part 4, and that fell through because Eddie Murphy wasn't happy with the script. But he is going to be creating a TV show based on Beverly Hills Cop. And, you know, he's going to be executive producing the show. And from time to time, he'll be in the show. But um, it's going to be based on his character's son, Axel, Axel Foley's son, Aaron, who's a Beverly Hills Cop. And, you know, um, what's great about this is, you know, we all love him in film, but we haven't seen him on TV for 28 years. So this is going to be his comeback. Well, Eddie, congratulations. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> I really like Eddie Murphy. I would love to see him back, uh, particularly on TV. I mean, movies are fine, but TV is so much more accessible, don't you guys think? Okay, so what's going on with him and that cute Roxy, formerly of 106 and Park? That's a good one. Uh, Roxy, you done come up, girl. Well, here's, here's some sad news. Reports are saying that they are not together anymore. Um, the reports are saying that she... I mean, she... you came down, girl. <laughs> what happened? They were dating for five months, and it was getting serious because, uh, you know, she met his family, and, you know, they were going on trips together. And walked the red carpet together. Exactly. But apparently, she's very clingy. She was kind of stalking him, calling him, texting him, going on his social media, checking up what he's doing, who he's with. And apparently, if you're dating Eddie Murphy, you just can't roll that way. You just... He just, he oh, just she ruined it for us, Roxy. <laughs> and it's sad because they were a cute couple, you they, know? They were cute. That was good for her, too. Damn, girl. All right, so thank you so much, Diana, no for problem. coming. Thank Those you. were great stories. You guys, be sure to check out hollyscoop.com today. Up next, everybody, for the first time on the couch, former pop star Lance Bass is here. Don't go. <laughs> rocketed to international stardom as a member of one of the biggest boy bands of all time, NSYNC. Well, now he can still be heard on the radio, but as a host of his brand new show called Dirty Pop. It's a celebrity pop culture show. Please welcome to our show, Lance Bass. <laughs> Really nice. Why, thank you. It's, is that... my, it's my own you, cologne. You liar. I, I have a secret cologne, really, I do. Yeah, you yeah. liar. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was, yeah, I like your combat boots. Let's give some shoe cam. Oh, no, put them down, put them oh. down. We get, there it is. Oh. There it is. Oh, wow, I got a shoe cam. It's cute. Nice. And yeah, no, <laughs> you, know, you came to the right place. Those are hot. So now look, um, I was watching New Normal last night and all of a sudden there was a Lance Bass I reference. I heard I got a shout out, yeah. How cool nice. is that? I didn't get to see it yet. I saw the first episode, but I didn't get to see the yeah, second one Yeah, it's yet. a good show. I know, I love it. And it's what you really and good. I have in common is that we were both on Dancing with the Stars. We were, did yes we, indeed. <laughs> did, did, oh, yeah. uh, did, oh Lord, no, not that picture. So they didn't call <laughs> you to, uh, for the All-Star or you just didn't pick up the phone? Uh, no. <laughs> No, uh, I don't know. They didn't even ask me. They asked Joey Fatone yeah. to do it this year. Well, so Joey's really competitive. He is. Yeah, he is. they didn't ask me either. And but... he's great. I, I mean, Joey's my best friend. He's yeah. amazing. So I'll be there rooting him on. Good, sure. good. Yeah. You're going to go. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Uh, and now, your your new serious show, is it based out of New York or is it based out of L.A.? It's, it's by Coastal. So I'll be mostly in L.A. because I've moved back from New York to L.A. just this year. Yes. Uh, working on a TV show. And uh, so it really follows me wherever I'm at. If I'm on set filming, Isn't I'll that the be great live. thing about uh, radio? It's amazing. Like, I did it, like, since forever. I was pregnant on bed rest, and uh -huh. the radio station was set up right there in my bedroom, right on right. the nightstand. Oh, it's, it's amazing. So, yeah. It's so portable. Yeah, and they have a line set up in my house. If yeah, the ISDM do it line. My house, it's, it's great. Perfect. Yeah. So, now, the X Factor everybody's airing tonight, yeah, and Lance's so good friend <laughs> is Britney Spears. Right. And I have to tell you, and I love Simon and, you know, the whole bit, but I'm really tuning in tonight to see if Britney really brings it. And Demi Lovato is so cute. Oh, indeed. I mean, everyone's watching for Britney, for sure. This is going to blow, I think, American Idol out of the is water. Is she going to be able to say it like she means it? Oh, and you course. know what I mean. Exactly. She's going to be Britney, for sure. Well, we don't, we don't know. See, when you say she's going to be Britney, uh -huh. we know her as a sweet country mm -hmm. girl, right. right? Who settled down early and had her right. kids and wouldn't hurt a fly. She likes mm -hmm. Cheetos and Starbucks, and, and that's it. Yeah, exactly. We don't know she her for like saying... She doesn't like her shoes. Right, yeah. but we don't know her for saying, uh, you can't sing, <laughs> you need to get off the show. Like, no. that's what we like, right, you guys? Um, 
No, it's gonna be good. And I, I, the thing I've noticed from the clips I've seen, uh, she really does side a lot with Simon, and he's dead on. So I think it's gonna be really good. She's gonna have a lot to say. Good. Yeah. Well, um, now when when Lance came out in 2006, uh, he confessed to Britney. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, like two. What, what you confessed two years before in 2004, you confessed to her that you I were did, well, gay. I, I, I told her the the way I came out to Britney was it was her first marriage when she got married in Vegas then that, oh. that, that little 24 hour one yes uh, so I was up there you know for that and she was kind of upset she knew what was gonna happen the next day and all the press and the only thing I could think of to kind of calm her down and like make her stop crying was to tell her I was gay <laughs> <laughs> I was like but I'm, I'm gay yeah <laughs> and she stopped crying and yeah it was great and so and she stopped crying and <laughs> took her off the 24-hour <laughs> marriage <laughs> how difficult was your decision to come out in 2006 uh, I mean it wasn't that difficult for me uh, I was already in a relationship and my friends and family had known did the guys uh, sync now uh, yes uh, the guys Were you guys knew. broken up at that point Yes, definitely. So you yeah. weren't stopping anybody's money because I, I had read an article that you were saying, well. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was scary, yeah. yeah. I, I felt like I had four guys' careers in my hand and I, you know, I didn't want to mess that up at yes. all. So as long as it, without, I was within sync, uh, I was basically asexual. Yes. Well, did any <laughs> yeah. of the guys ever come to you and say, hey, you know, They did. Lance. Actually, Chris Kirkpatrick came to me twice oh, okay. and uh, asked me, you know, the question. And at that point, I'd never been with a guy, so I was like, no, Well, not at all. what I'm, made I'm him fun. do that? I mean, did, I did, mean, did you have one uh, extra snappy clothing? Because they never saw me like, with, <laughs> yeah. I mean, what made him just... Please, we all looked very gay. Yeah. In our <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, did you see the outfits that he wore? Yeah. So, um, so he came to you now. A lot of um, sequence, a lot of sequence. <laughs> you're you're yeah. friends with um, uh, Justin Timberlake mm. even after NSYNC. Mm. Do you have any details on what is supposed to be the big wedding of the year with <laughs> he and Jessica Biel? Uh, I mean, of course I know details, but uh, there's no way I would be able to say any of that yeah. or he would kill me. Do you for sure. even know when the wedding is? Do, uh, do you have an course. invitation in your house? <laughs> would you like, it's in my pocket. Would yeah. you like to see it? Uh, no. No, I, you know, it's it's going to be a lovely wedding, and I hope they do get the privacy that they you yeah. know, deserve, so it's, it's going to be great. Well, that's hint enough. If we gave you a Wendy microphone, do you yeah. think you can go in there Just and slide, slide in my pocket? <laughs> no, listen, um, so Lance has a very happy, loving relationship of a few yeah. months. A year and a half now. Oh, it's a year yeah, and a half? I'm all, Good for yeah. you, time is flying. You know, and, in, and in gay years, you know, you say times seven. So times seven yeah. in gay years. Yeah. Well, so. look, uh, his name is, his, why do they say that? Gay relationships don't last? I, they, they, they always say that, I guess. Just, I think that's because, you know, a lot of, most places we can't get married. So you can't really think about settling down. I think that's the problem with the gay community. Do you want to get married one day I to do. Michael? Yes, of look, course. I dream of that, that, that wedding and being married and having kids. There they are. Yeah. He's younger than us, isn't he? <laughs> Uh, is he it, is. It, he's, yeah, he's 25. There's pressure to stay yeah. hot when you're yeah. young with, with somebody younger. Oh, yeah, yeah. He keeps me in the gym for yeah. sure. Yeah. So now look at me. So Andy Cohen, who's a friend of our show, is here. Oh, you guys I saw might him remember. On your show. Uh -huh. And Andy, mm -hmm. I said, I asked him, we were playing a game, and I asked him, you know, who, who uh, you know, something about a game. What did I, what did I ask him? Um, I asked Andy. He's the plead the fifth that he does on his show. Plead the he's fifth. Just, yeah, we played it with him. Uh -huh. Wait, take a look because we have the clip for you. Look. Oh, yeah. What celebrity would people be surprised to hear that you've made out with? Oh! Um, Lance Bass. Thank you. I love hearing I mean, stuff like that. Only here on Wendy does that happen. Up next, everybody, find out a little more about Lance in one of our games that we call Fave Five. Keep it here. about his new radio show on yeah. XM. Okay, now it's time to play Fave Five. This is a brand new game here on Wendy and you're gonna love it. Hit it. Okay. We wanna learn five things about you that maybe we did not know. For All instance, right, question number it. one, what is your favorite guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure, um, honey boo boo. <laughs> a lot of people agree with you. Yeah. Uh, number two, uh, what's your favorite pickup line? Uh, oh, I never do pickup lines at all, but I did just yesterday. I was interviewing Craig Ramsey, the, the trainer from Intervention. Yes. And he hit on his fiance at Gold's Gym, 
and the pickup line was, he was getting a sh ready to get a shake, and he said, uh, are you uh, contemplating a pre-workout shake? Isn't that awful? <laughs> Isn't that the worst pickup line ever? Ew. Are you contemplating a pre-workout shake? Yeah, and now they're getting married, though. Oh! Yeah, yeah they're getting married. Okay, question number three. We're playing Faye Five, brand new game. Who is your favorite Kardashian? Who is my favorite Kardashian? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, I... No, uh, 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 where, where? this is, this is oh. Lance's co-host. Um, I mean, I love, I love all my girls, but Chloe, I love. Yeah. Okay, I too, I too. Yeah. Lance, by the way, appeared on Keeping Up With The Kardashians I this did. season. I did, yes. I was a dinner guest that I didn't know cameras were going to be there. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Oh, yeah. They, call, they hawk yeah. down on that him. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. look, number four. Uh, who, uh, who's your favorite Justin Timberlake girlfriend? Uh, Not fiance, girlfriend. Girlfriend, so that, of all of us. That I mean, would be Britney. He's had some really great ones. That would sure. be Cameron Diaz. <laughs> They're all lovely, lovely women, but I'm, I love, Jesse Bill is amazing, so I'm gonna stick Jessie with Jesse. Jesse Bill. Yeah, she's great. Okay. She's lovely. Okay, and finally, number five, uh, favorite in sync song. Yeah, it makes me ill. We didn't release it, but it was one of my favorite songs. It makes me I, ill. It makes me ill. Yeah. Can we find that online? Oh yeah, it was on the No Strings Attached album. Terrific. I think. Yeah. All right. Well, there are things you didn't know about Lance Bass. He's our new friend. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very much. And you guys, make sure that you check out Lance's new radio show. It's called. Uh, Dirty Pop Dirty with Pop. Lance Bass. It's daily from 6 to 8 p.m. on Sirius XM. Up next, we're going to show you must-have accessories for fall. Keep it here, y'all. with our next guest. You know, Fashion Week is in full swing. So here to share the hottest trends in accessories for the season is the founder of LuxurySpot.com, Bryce Gruber. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. You do in three weeks? Uh, yeah, in a few weeks. Okay, well then let's get this yeah. done quickly. Something might happen. Before it pops out, no water <laughs> breaking. Okay, how important is uh, accessorizing a wardrobe? It's so important to accessorize because you can keep all of your clothing from past seasons and just re-accessorize and you are totally fresh and up to date and good to go. This is what I say, okay, first trend? The first trend is leather and leather accessories. You can go with like BCBG Generation from OpenSky.com. They have this great pink leather style bag. It's Cute. under $100. Cute. Hat Attack makes a wool hat that is super trendy this season. Yes. But the leather trim, if you're not like so edgy that you want to do a lot of leather, you right. can try it. Right. I love Stella and Dot has all these great accessories. I was just wearing some uh, the other day. I keep like talking to you about it on WendyShow.com. I, I like them. I love Stella and Dot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is, has a leather strap. It's yeah. really easy to wear. Mm -hmm. It's $59. Okay, uh, our next trend is lace, everybody. Lace. Lace is super big, and it's not just a spring-summer thing. You can check out these glasses. I found them on shopattoomy.com. They're as inexpensive as $10, and they will last you until next spring and next summer because they go with everything. Yeah, and I like these bracelets with the lace embellishment. OpenSky.com, $38. They're really fun. They're resin. You can, like, jazz any outfit up, yeah, what, jeans, whatever. What is this, a corset? I mean, a thing? Uh, it you it know, looks uh, like it looks uh, like a garter belt, right? Yeah, but they're actually, they're headbands. Oh. Can you picture, like, one of those awesome top knots on your hair? Yes. And, like, really glamorous. These are really cute. cute. Okay. And they're super cheap. They're by Goody. They're at Target.com, Target, oh. everywhere. Okay, so so far we have leather, we have lace, and now what's this trend? Rose gold. I can't get enough yes. rose gold. I'm wearing it yes. also. Yes, rose gold <laughs> is good, and it looks good on everybody's complexion talk. And you can mix the metals with everything. So if you were a silver girl for the past five seasons, keep going with it. Just add some fun rose gold accessory. I love this. This is an Ivanka Trump bag. These are more like accessories that you can get under $100, really fun. Just mix in a piece, try it, and you'll be totally up to date. And this final trend uh, has me conflummox. What is the trend? <laughs> you tell them what it is. It's burgundy. Burgundy is huge. You totally want to add color to your wardrobe, but, but it's not neons anymore. But back in my day, it was called maroon. And now <laughs> they're not calling it burgundy. They're calling it oxblood for 2012 and right. beyond. I don't, right? I don't, I'm not trying to add blood to anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it, it's burgundy, you guys. Yeah. And, and this is the trend. Yeah. So this Missoni scarf we found for $99 at Chapitou. 
Me.com also, which is great. Shoe Dazzle has incredible shoes that look way more expensive yeah. than they are. They're like $30, $40 a pop. Look at these. Yeah, I'm what? wearing them now, and what? I am super pregnant yeah. and more comfortable. <laughs> Hold on, and I'll catch you if you fall, and then somebody <laughs> will catch me when I fall. Yeah. Uh, these trends are also helpful. You guys, uh, this is Bryce Gruber, everybody. And her, Ooh. she is a self-made, oh, uh, we forgot to, or yeah, we forgot. Sorry, studio audience, you're all going home with this lipstick. Who is it by? Red lipstick, right <laughs> red. I'm wearing it, Bryce is wearing it, and who's it by? We're both wearing Elizabeth Grant. It's a bright red lipstick, and you can't go wrong. Red lips are a perfect Timeless. accessory for this fall. Exactly. Now, Bryce, thank you so much. Good thank luck with you. your impending birth. And everybody, for more information on these trends, go to wendyshow.com. Up next, it's time for Ask Wendy. Stay with us. <laughs> for Ask Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> hey, Wendy. I'm Sally from Chicago. How you doing? How you doing, Sally? So I am so confused about this girl code. I have a close friend of mine. How old she, are you? I'm 22. Okay. You're okay. We'll um, help you. We'll yeah. help you. <laughs> I have a close friend of mine. She dated this guy for about a month. So four years later, I started developing strong feelings for this guy. And we want to be together. So I was woman enough to ask her, like, oh, is this okay? We're together. And she totally flipped out on me. She was like, you cannot be with anybody I was involved with. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Did Let they me... sleep together, if you don't no, mind? No, they didn't have no sexual relationship. And by the way, she cheated on him when they were together. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, you do know this for a fact? Yes. I, we're best friends, okay. so I know this for a fact. This is what I say since she asked me. If you have any other comment, you go to wendyshow.com and leave <laughs> it on my Facebook. But this is what I say. It's, uh, I believe in girl code, but this is one month, no sex, four months ago, and you're 22. Yeah. She cheated on him, he's fair game. But if she said no, then that means no. If you still wanna be her friend, then don't do it. If you don't mm -hmm. care about the friendship, because the guy is so awesome at 22 <laughs> years old, <laughs> then go ahead. So I think that this is a gray area, what do you say? Yeah. Gray area, what are you gonna do? Um... I'll ask you during the commercial, we'll be right back. <laughs> Have a seat, studio audience. <laughs> Sally has decided to stick with her girl. Yeah. Boys are a dime a dozen while you're 22, so you made the right decision. In the meantime, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we had a wonderful show today. I wanna thank all my guests tomorrow on this show. We've got the very entertaining Fran Drescher. Plus, we're gonna show you some hot fall celebrity fashions for less and some Guinness Book of World Records you would not believe. I love you for watching today and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye. <laughs>